بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد From among the ni'mat and bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kaju the dates yumbitu lakum bihi az-zar wal-zaytun wal-nakhil Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes to grow for you the crops, the olives, the date palms So we find various ayat of the Qur'an where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions and speaks about the date palm وَالنَّخْلَ بَاسِقَاتٍ لَهَا طَلْعٌ نَضِيدٍ And the tall date palms with range clusters وَزُرُوءٍ وَنَخْلٍ طَلْعُهَا هَضِيمٍ And green crop fields and date palms فِيهِمَا فَاكِهَةُ وَنَخْلُ وَرُمَّانٍ in them both will be fruits and date palms and pomegranates as in Surah Rahman. Then Maryam radiyallahu anha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encouraged her, وَهُزِّي إِلَيْكِ بِجِزِ النَّخْلَ تُسَاقِطْ عَلَيْكِ رُطَبًا جَنِيَا Shake the trunk of the date palm towards you and it will allow fresh, ripe dates to fall upon you. So different ayat of the Qur'an highlight that and emphasize the importance of kajur dates which Allah make us maaf nowadays is only utilized in the month of Ramadan for fasting, breaking fast only. Whereas it should be our daily meal, nutrition, sustenance. We find that Aisha radiallahu anha when asked and questioned about when she said, what was their consumption? Inna kunna, that we used to nandur ila al-hilal, thumma al-hilal, thumma al-hilal, thalatha illa. Three moons we'd pass, fi shahrain in two months. And there wasn't anything. Wa uqidat fi abiyati rasulillahi narun. A fire was lit in the house of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When she was asked, how would you survive? She said, al-aswadan. The two black things, what are they? Atamr wal ma. Atamr wal ma. Kajur and water. So, Sahaba, and if you wonder how great battles and how they should travel in the peninsula and in the deserts, what least of provisions, Sahaba used to survive on Kajur dates. So, as a believer, as a people of Iman, dates should be part of our daily consumption. Ya Aisha. لا يجو أهل بيت عندهم التمر. The Dawaisha, a house which there are no dates, its people will go hungry. So Allah Mumunawi explains لكونه أنفس الثمار التي بها قوام الأنفس والأبدان. This is such a precious, valuable fruit in provision, which is the foundation. For oneself, the body, ما كونه أغلب أقوات الحجاز في ذلك الزمان. And it was the most dominant provision in the Arabian Peninsula in that era. So, for baraka in risk and sustenance, also that's why when we are breaking our fast, what we are told إذا أفطر أحدكم فليفطر على تمر. Make iftar on kajur, fa'innahu baraka. Because that is a means for baraka. And فَإِن لَمْ يَجِدْ تَمْرًا If you don't find kajur, فَالْمَاءَ فَإِنَّهُ طَهُورٌ Then utilize water. كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يفطر قبل أن يصلي على رُثُبَات النبي عليه السلام used to break his fast with kajur, the rutub. So let me explain. That the one that is more moist, فَإِلَّمْ رُطُبَاتْ And if there is not possibility of this, فَتُمَيْ رَاتْ Then كَجُورْ dates, the drier ones. And if not that, مِمَّا Then use water. So it is a staple diet for fasting, for breaking fast. And that should be also our habit and if you look at when we break fast, at the end of the fast, the levels of glucose, insulin in the hepatic portal vein drops. That reduces absorption of glucose via the liver cells. 
and other tissues like the muscle cells, the nerve cells, and uh, all the glycogen becomes exhausted or literally almost exhausted. So when a person eats the kajur, he's supplying the body with glucose, which gives a lot of benefit. And the hepatic portal vein rise quickly as soon as this is absorbed. And this stops the oxidation of fatty acids, preventing formation of ketones. It dispels the symptoms of overall weakness and disorders of the nervous systems. So dates are rich in glucose and that's why it is an ideal food for the body. They've got a lot of other vitamins, A, B12, B2, calcium, phosphate, potassium, sulfur, sodium, magnesium, cobalt, zinc, fluorine, copper, manganese, etc. So besides the vitamins, it has fibers, which is, an effect, which is very effective in activating bowel movement and flexibility also. So you will see the benefits as well. We find that uh, when a person consumes kajur, he should have this yaqeen that I'm not eating kajur because medically it's been said, I earned the scientific benefits and I like that any sunnah. But because my Nabi has emphasized it and it was the diet of my Nabi, I am also going to eat it. Ahmed Shoki, a poet, used to say the, with regards to the date palm, it is the food for the poor, sweet meat for the rich, and a provision for travelers and strangers. And even the date palm, if you look at it, it can survive in harsh environments, in the scarcity of water, in intense heat. So Allah SWT has made it very rigid. And uh, the kajur itself as well can be preserved very easily. There's not so much processes needed like honey. So kajur, dates, a simple thing which is in our Islamic Muslim diet, which has been emphasized a lot, but has left the ummah as well. So, khairu tamrikum al barni, amongst the best of kajurs, is barni. Yukhriju da' wa la da'afi. It removes all sicknesses and there's no illness, sickness in it. So, amongst the benefits of eating kajur dates, it helps prevent night blindness due to the deficiency of vitamin A. So in regions, areas of the world where the consumption of dates were high, they had rare incidences of night blindness. Then it boosts the energy levels with the sucrose, fructose, glucose. It promotes heart health by preventing cardiovascular diseases, stimulates cholesterol, uh, which, which collects in the arteries. It stimulates the removal of all this cholesterol. Then at least to weight loss. So people want to, it's low in fat, so it promotes uh, weight loss. It promotes healthy skin. It has vitamin C, vitamin D. It combats, co combats itching, rashes. It's regarded as a remedy for anemia. It contains a lot of iron. So people are anemic, need more iron. It has anti-aging benefits. It pre prevents accumulation of uh, those uh, toxins which uh, creates and excels, accelerates aging, gives immunity against cancer because magnesium generally, scientifically says, it helps against cancer and immunity. And uh, it's in uh, a diuretic. It uh, strengthens the bones, the teeth, because of the phosphorus, calcium. It is very good for strengthening eyesight, moisture of the eye, because it contains vitamin I, uh, A, which fights uh, the, de the decrease of uh, vision in a person. It regulates blood pressure, rich in potassium. And uh, not having enough potassium can, can lead to kidney stones. It strengthens the auditory nerves. So for elderly people, it is very good. It helps manage hypertension. I iron promotes good circulation. So that helps with hypertension. Likewise, it promotes circulation, which helps hair growth. So people who have a problem with hair, iron promotes blood circulation and circulation to the scalp, which encourages hair growth. It has a calming effect on nerves because of vitamin A, B1, which strengthens the nerves. It reduces thyroid activity. Why? Because it contains phosphorus which is regarded as a nourishment for nerve cells in the brain. 
Likewise, children who have uh, they're very anxious in that. It's good. So part of the lunch for our children, we should try to include kajur. They prevent hair loss. Dates are regarded as a remedy for liver disease, jaundice, dry lips, dry skin, cracked nails. Contains vitamin B. They use to treat diseases of the bladder, stomach, intestines because of vitamin B1, B2, niacin, which hydrate and protect the bowel against weakness and infection. It reduces the risk of colon cancer because of the ingredients that are in the kajur. Um, it increases growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut, which obviously promotes colon health. It's also regarded as a laxative and a remedy for constipation because of cellulose which holds, helps bowel movement naturally. It regulates the acidity in the intestine. Then they contain alkaline minerals which regulate blood acidity which a person who has a habit of consuming bread, rice, something that is high in carbohydrates, which may cause uh, diseases like gallstones, kidney stones, blood pressure. Uh, for a woman who is pregnant uh, and has just given birth also, kajur is very beneficial as was the incident of visit. Maryam radiallahu anha. Then scientists have done research as well. Uh, Dr. Abdul Razak as Sayyid in Jidda did some research and he found that uh, there isn't a very high case of uh, cancer in areas where people are eating large amounts of kajur. Then Dr. Rafael Hussain from uh, Fujairah did some research as well. It's mentioned in Majalat al Etihad al Imaratiya where there was fluorine in kajur, which is four times the amount in other fruits. And fluorine helps in the health of teeth. It prevents tooth decay. It has a calcium phosphorus, which is good for the teeth as well. Then uh, in the, another Majalla article, scientific research shows that it contains properties which reduce the effects of an overactive thyroid and hyperactivity in children. So it's like we said for lunch, for breakfast also, we should try to give kajur instead of sweets. Let us put our children in the routine of eating, eating natural substances. Sweets should be banned completely in our houses. Then, with regards to germs living in kajur, so khayru tamaratikum al barni yukhriju da' wa la da' fi'i that uh, it takes away sickness, there's no sickness in it, so researchers, scientists did research with regards to that as well. And they found that germs could not live for more than three days. Which means when the days are exposed to severe contamination, they become free of any disease causing factor within three days. And this research was done by the Central Institute of Bacteriology in Iraq with the cooperation with the WHO. So the, the, the scientific research showing why, why is it so effective against bacteria is there's tannin in kajur which protects it against parasites and produce rotten spots on the surface during the root-up stage. This is very beneficial. So let us burn in kajur and date. And if you have to go specifically, while ajwa min al jannah, the right of Sayyid Khudri, and the white Ibn Iman Ibn Abbas, the white Kana Abu Tamr ila Rasulullah al-Ajwa, the most beloved Kajur, Nabi alayhi salam, loved most was Ajwa. Man tasabaha bi sabi tamarat Ajwa, lam yadurhu fi dhalika al-yawm samun wa la sihr. We were seven Ajwa in the morning. They will not be harmed for poison or jadu black magic. Inna fi Ajwa til aliya al-shifa. They shifa in Ajwa. So a lot of riwayat, and if you look at the po just just the riwayat of the poison effects, so there may be different things. One is we're thinking of snake bites, scorpion bites, but there can be other microorganisms which come in through the mouth. So not necessarily poison, but other toxins which gather in the body, whether it is toxins which harm the kidney, which result in kidney failure, or in the colon, 
or toxins from germs and parasites, worms, all of these compounds are a poison. So the ingredients in Kajur Ajwa, and it's recommended before breakfast to have these seven Ajwa, which can destroy or even neutralize any toxin. So Nabi Ali Islam has told, told us of, uh, of physical defects, but even such a thing which is unseen, like sihr. So somebody might ask firstly, why seven? Imam Nawi Rahmatullah said, وَعَدَدُ السَّبْعَ مِنَ الْأُمُورِ الَّتِي أَلَّمَهَا الشَّارِعَ Those are matters which Allah has taught us. وَلَا نَعْلَمُ نَحْمُ نَحْنُ حِكْمَتُهَا we don't know what the, what's the wisdom behind it. فَيَجِبُ iman biha. So it is necessary to bring Iman in us. وَإِتِغَادُ فَضْلِهَا And to have belief in the virtues. My Nabi has said this. So the words awal bukra in the early part of the morning. Ibn Qayyim says أَجْوَةُ الْمَدِينَ مِنْ أَنْفَيْ تَمْرِ الْحِجَازِ The Ajwa of Medina is among the most beneficial. Kajur of Hijaz. And ilajun uh, mustamirun ila yawmil qiyamah. There's been debates about the benefits, but ulama have explained this benefit is not limited to that era, that time, to the specific uh, regulatory area. But muhaddithin have commented that it is for qiyamah, it means for the entire ummah who can benefit from this year. Ibn Athir has mentioned that. Uh, Ajwa mimma gharasahun nabi sam biyadihi bil madina. And it is a special kajur which Nabi alayhi salam had planted in Madina Munawara. And in Fatal Bari alama Khaddabi has mentioned, Kaunul ajwa tenfa'u min as sam wa sihr, inma huwa bi barkati da'wati nabi sallallahu alayhi salam. That the fact that ajwa will benefit from poison or even sihr and black magic. That is the barakah of the dua of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And not the speciality of Medina Munawra, la li khasiyati fi tamr. Not the speciality of the kajur. But it's the barakah of Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam. So the ajwa itself, let us make a habit daily to have seven ajwa daily in the morning after we have our honey and then in honey water with olive oil and all the other ingredients discussed previously have our seven ajwa فَلْيَأْخُذْ سَبْعَ تَمَرَاتٍ مِنْ أَجْوَ الْمَدِينَةِ Take, when his sahabi went to Nabi alayhi salam then he advised him take the seven ajwa and then crush its seeds and what the seeds consume it so there's a lot of benefits as well in having the seeds of ajwa and then even we see when a baby is born from Mother Raha, Nabi alayhi salam, Asma binti Abi Bakr radiallahu anha, when she got pregnant with Abdullah ibn Zubair in Makkah, and she set out in Quba, she gave birth, and the child was brought to Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. Then he called for days, he chewed it, and the child was uh, given this Mubarak Kajur. وَكَانَ أَوَّلْ شَيْءٍ دَخَلَ جَوْفَهُ رِيقَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ The most, the most important thing it has an accolade for her is that the Mubarak saliva of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم entered his stomach. Number one, وَكَانَ أَوَّلَ مَوْلُودٍ وُلِلَ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ He was the first child born in Islam. So at that time the Jews also it was known that they made jadu but this broke the omen. So a child having this year, because in that time there's a great need, they found that children who don't have this year, this possibility of uh, nursing, uh, refutation, lifteness of the muscle, interruption in breathing, cyanosis, seizures, fits, consultant, delayed in growth, mental retardation, cerebral palsy, impairment to hearing or vision, epilepsy, etc. So a child is prone to a lot of sicknesses and diseases as well. Those are words of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. May Allah give us the reality. Diamond for today is, to stay low profile, going off the grid, going away from civilization. In Ajab nas ilayya, the most fortunate and amazing person is he 
who yahfad deenahu, he protects his deen, wa yaatazilun nas, and he stays far away from people, means there is khatra and danger in the cities, in the epicenters. So when there is a, when you want to protect your iman, that go out of the cities and stay in the mountains.